Hey, what is going on guys? It's Connor here from Mangu Dunks and welcome back to a new video on the channel. In today's video, we're going to be creating a Fortnite command and as you can tell, there is a module that we're going to be requiring. It's called the simple-fortnite-api. Now, I made this myself specifically for this reason and right here you'll see that we have a token in which you'll be able to grab when you go to fortnitetracker.com forward slash site api. And when you go here, you can click manage or create API. You can obviously create application and all you have to do is provide a name, description, a valid email address, and then you'll be able to grab the API key here. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to start off by checking if there was an arguments, any arguments provided. And more specifically, we're going to check if there is the argument, the first argument provided. And if not, we're going to return a message saying, please supply a username with a full stop there then after that what we're going to do is if there was a second argument provided and we're over the end and uh, lifetime lifetime solo duo and then finally but not least uh, I think it's just squad if none of these are provided, we're just going to basically return. We're going to check if the argue one includes that. And if not, we're going to return message.channel.send. And then in this case, we're just going to send the usage because that's the helpful part. So we're going to do username and then just the game type here. Now, as you can tell, there's only the PC stats that are grabbed because, well, I didn't really add an option in the API itself to be able to change that. And the reason being is because it's PC stats and that's kind of like the the area that you really want to be grabbing from. Um, and then we're going to do game types here. Uh, we should probably new line this. Go to a new line. Sorry if you can hear if I'm a little bit sick at the moment, which is unfortunate. We're going to do lifetime solo duo and then we're just gonna do squad now after that we're gonna do let game game type equal and we're gonna check if the args one we're gonna use a ternary operator here and then if args one is provided we're gonna use the two lowercase method here two lowercase function oh not double and then if not we're just gonna provide it with lifetime now obviously you can go back and add your semicolons if you see that you want to do that sometimes i do it sometimes i don't next comes the fun part so we're going to do let data equals await fully using the asyncurus function here and then we're going to do client dot find find is the method that we're going to be using and args zero is the username or parameter we're going to be passing to the uh, package here Next, we're going to do if data is provided. Well, sorry, if data is provided and then the data.code is equal to 404. 404 is returning null or unable to find the data. We're going to send a message to the channel saying unable to find a user with that username. Now, you don't have to use this. You can just do if data. Um, sorry, you can just do uh, respond with the data because of the fact that in the package itself if it can't find a um a, a user with that name it will throw an error and uh actually no i've made it so it just returns an object which you can take full advantage of so next we'll do const image now what i've done is i provided a fortnite image that you can use in the return data you don't have to use it you can use your own const and then what we're going to do here is we're going to get the core information so we're going to look for score per min we're going to do win percent we're going to do kills we're going to do score i actually think i changed that to i swear hands down i changed it to to ratio next what we're going to do is after score we're going to get wins kd and then we're going to do matches and then we're going to have this look for data with the game type here. 
Next after this, we're finally going to get to the part where we're going to be adding the embed. So const embed equals new rich embed. As you can see at the top here, we've required just rich a uh, rich embed from the discord.js uh, package here. Next, what we're going to be doing is we're going to set the color to cyan. And as you can see, we have required the colors.json that we have. Next, what we'll be doing is setting the author of the embed. If I can get there. And then in here, we're going to do Epic Games, Fortnite, and then dash user username here. And that's going to be calling the first responded information. Next, what we're going to do is set the thumbnail and we're going to set the thumbnail to image. And up here, we can also set this to an image because there is a extra um, parameter here. This being the image next to the text displayed. Then we're finally going to get to the point where we're setting the description. And then we're going to be using strip indent from the uh, common tags module up here. What we're going to be doing is game mode. And as very similar to the help command, we're going to be doing game type slice one zero here dot two upper uppercase to uppercase and then we're gonna plus game type slice one and this is just gonna basically make the provided um game type the it's gonna be a capital for the first letter of each of these next what we're gonna be doing is documenting the kills here so kills and then we're gonna do kills using an or operator and setting it to zero if there is no provided information next is score and we're going to do score with an or operator stating zero now when i do eventually get around to changing the api you won't have to do this because it will just change the undefined information from the api into a zero or its respective value next what we're going to do here is the score per min or we're gonna set it to zero. Next in line is wins. And then in the wins here, we're gonna do wins or zero. After wins, what we're gonna do is win ratio, ratio, win ratio, and then it's gonna be win ratio. I'm not sure if I changed it. I could be wrong. Um, I'm not entirely sure because it was originally win ratio, but then I changed it to percent. Um, but we're just going to keep it as that because that's what it states. Um, and then what we're going to do here is 0%. Next in line is our kill death ratio. And you can just say it's your KD. Kill death ratio. And then we're just going to say it is our, uh, it's our KD. As we have here, we're almost at the end. And our KD, if it isn't provided, will be zero. Next in line is our matches played. And we'll check how many matches are played here by doing matches. And this will, from the API itself, it's stored as top one. So this is how many matches are played that you have won. Next in line is our link. And we're going to be using a mask link. Link to profile. And then we're going to be doing URL. So that seems to be done apart from the fact that we want to do set timestamp as well. And then after that, we're going to want to send the message itself. Um, sorry, we're going to send the embed itself. So that seems to be done. Next, what we're going to do is I'm going to play the advertisement for Oxide Hosting. And after that, we'll be back in Discord checking the command out. This video is proudly sponsored by Oxide Hosting. With this hosting company, you can never go wrong. They provide outstanding customer support and all for a low price. Their services range from website hosting to Minecraft server hosting. If you are interested in them, be sure to check out the link in the description below. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna run the Fortnite command without providing a username. It says provide a username and what we're gonna do is we're gonna provide Ninja and, huh, whoops, I forgot to make that a, uh, a function there. So next what we want to do is we just want to do Fortnite Ninja and it's going to respond with the data. As you can see, it's a link to his profile on the FortniteTracker.com thing. Uh, his score per minute is zero, which is 
odd. I think that may be a broken part. I will have to check that in the API um, and it will be updated accordingly. So if you have this tutorial and you're using that package, just make sure to check the updates regularly because I will be updating it to have stores and other stuff um, in the near future. But what we can do is we can check ninjas solo and it will return the solo stuff. And then we can check the duo. His win ratio is odd. I think the lifetime win ratio is the only thing that displays here, which is odd. And I'll obviously change this. And it's, it's, it's a package that has only just been created for the purpose of this tutorial. So it's not going to be perfect, but I will make sure that it is top notch by the time that is uh, full release. Anyways, guys, that's all for today. I appreciate you watching the tutorial. And if not, go check out the code on the GitHub. It's normally uploaded two or three days after the video is uploaded. Um, just for the pure fact that we don't want people just copy and pasting the code. We want you guys to go through the code so you understand and analyze the code. It's an easier way to learn if you're writing it out yourself instead of copy and pasting. But anyways, guys, it's been Connor here from Menu Docs, and I hope you have enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.